Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Ziggin. So, if you're new to this channel, we'll summarize this real quick. So, for other channels, they might put video or put subtitles or put sound, but I've tried that in the past multiple times. I always get a strike and then have to wait 90 days to get rid of the strike. Um, I almost got terminated a few times in the past from trying that. So for the foreseeable future, we'll be doing this way. So if you don't like the way I do it, just go to a different channel. Don't dislike this video because that's why I see a lot of people will be like, oh, just delete your channel. Oh, you're doing it this way, delete your channel and dislike the video and leave. Uh, this is how we've been doing it for the last two years. Uh, so the way we do it is up in the corner here is a timer. Uh, I will put three seconds on the timer if the video is 15 minutes or longer, about 10, 15 minutes or longer. If the video is uh, less uh, minutes than that, uh, I put two seconds on the timer. But basically, I will start my video at zero seconds. I will do a three second countdown. When my video hits, so like three, two, one. And then when my video hits three seconds, I hit continue. And about that's my timer will be linked up with the same amount of seconds as the video. So if you want to watch with me, just put the timer through put your video to three seconds when I get to zero just hit play and you're good to go you're watching the video about the same time I am uh, like I said if you guys don't like this go to a different channel this will be at the start of every anime television or TV show or movie episode reaction and review I do the full time so if you want to watch it fully with me that's how we do it also uh, if you want if you've seen this intro before you can skip past it because down below here it's going to be split up from intro to where we start the video I usually give it about five ten seconds before we start the video and then after the video I do the review I usually section it off on that or if we do four if uh, we do more than two episodes or three episodes we will be sectioned off with each episode reaction um, and then at the end we do the review for all of them Otherwise, that's how we do it here. Like I said, if you don't like it, just go off. Go to a different channel. But this is how we're probably going to do this for the foreseeable future. Otherwise, thank you for sticking uh, to the whole thing if you're new to this channel. Otherwise, uh, let's jump into it, whatever this video might be. And hopefully you guys do enjoy. So I'm a star of this video. If you hear the fan background, I'm just trying to get the room cold. Um... I won't turn it off just because the days have been really really bad um if you're curious uh what was the day I recorded the fairy tale and uploaded it I recorded Sakamo's days the same day I think it was Tuesday and I had plans for all this stuff to come out through the week and then record my reaction to the Studio Ghibli film and put out the, this weekend this is coming out Sunday, hopefully. Hopefully Sakamoto's Days come out later tonight too. I think I just have to put stuff to it. But Tuesday night, passed out before I could get Sakamoto's Days up. And I woke up with like major body aches, sore throat, migraines, all that. I think I might have a sinus infection. I have to wait till tomorrow to make a doctor's appointment for it. So, I've been just coughing my lungs out and dealing with migraines and all this other stuff. So, uh, not fun, not been fun the last couple of days. Um, I'm saying right now, uh, for anybody curious about Demon Slayer, um, yes, I still have to plot the rest of the reactions to the second season. Yes, they're going to be long because they're going to be added. There will be added reviews for stuff. Um, the next one will probably come out in a week or two if I can, if, if whatever, <coughs> if um, whatever I'm going through gets fixed. Because, like I said, I'm. I don't even know if I can record this fully without having to take a break. I haven't been able to really record anything. The little things we have done have been me not talking much. It's when I start talking that's when coughing hap happens more and more frequently. 
We are doing Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 1. <sighs> Only because I keep getting clips recommended to me, and I'm just curious. Um... I'm going to take this and allergy medicine. Allergy medicine has been helping a tiny bit. And I've been on a thousand my, uh, milligrams of ibuprofen for the pain. Oh. Like I say, I'm sorry. I'm going to be trying to talk a lot, but I'm not anywhere near 100%. And I probably won't be for a while. Once I'm back at 100%, I will catch up with the stuff I want to put out for you guys. There's a lot. I just can't do it right now. Um, I'd rather try to get better than to start uh, recording stuff when I'm this bad. I'm only doing this because I want to get something out so you know what's been going on. So you guys have a, like, you know what's up. Even though probably not a lot of people are going to see this. Um, otherwise, we'll be jumping into, like, it's a Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 1. Oh. back back pain I say right now any pain I've had is just ramped up to a 10 I wouldn't I mean say 10 maybe but seven or eight and it's just everywhere it's, it's horrible okay I'm guessing it's this the 2023 <laughs> now we have one episode of yeah, so there's one episode of it out so far. I do want to finish, like, the Ice Sorcerer. And there's a few things I want to pick up. And I need to finish my hero because you guys voted for it. And there's a lot I need to do. But, like I said, I'm still in 100%. Um, I don't have a migraine right now. And that's the one thing that I've been dealing with constantly. And since it's gone for the moment, I'm going to try record... <laughs> Also, I haven't been cough coughing as much as I've been coughing, so. Uh, otherwise, we're picking up Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 1. I'm going to put three seconds on the timer. And I'm going to let this load for 30 seconds. gonna turn off my TV I'll have this start rendering as soon as I'm done recording and start pulling this oh also real quick before we fully jump in when this is loading um, I'll probably this is 50 minutes long I don't know if I can make it through this without taking a break. If there's a break, you guys won't know it because I'll cut. But I will put up a video talking about... I'll put up a post saying if you guys want to know what's up. I talked a little bit about it in the beginning of the Demon Slayer reaction. I'll put timestamps. Otherwise, Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 1. In 3, 2... One. I'm scared because so they the end of last season they beat uh they beat one of the they beat one of the upper six
Yeah, and he's not doing good. I still haven't recorded my extra reviews for the final four episodes of season two, but there's a lot to talk about. Oh, we can, we're going to get the upper six meeting, right? They hinted towards it in the final episode. Please don't you die, you. That's a problem I can see him dying before the end of the show. Yeah, he can't be happy. Michael Jackson, Muzan, I keep calling him Michael Jackson. Muzan can't be happy about this. Migraines are coming back. I think it's light, but I'm going to deal with it. If I end up more sick, whatever. I need to put, record something for you guys. That's... He's rank... Yeah, three. Over three. My problem is I, I put this on page 34 and there's no room in between to put extra stuff. I can't think of his name. Oh, this sound is really weird. It's like bouncing around. Holy crap. Oh, it's incredible. This infinite castle is so cool. I'm guessing whenever someone faces Muzan, this will be where they fight. Right? What the hell is happening? I can't believe we're starting off with this. I, I thought this would be pushed back. The Swordsmith Village arc. Oh, fuck. That was just me. Mm. Mm. Oh, is this one of the six? Oh, it's upper five. So he's the next one down from Daki. Upper four. What's up with him? Oh, 
Okay, upper five, four, three. We have upper two and one now. Upper two. I wonder if they will be a different upper. Like, if they don't go in order, and we beat, like, upper 3 before upper 4 or 5. The upper 2 seems more, like, cheerful. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing the upper five do not like each other. He has the same hair as, uh... I wanted to say this, but we never got the other reactions out of my... Because I've been trying to work on other stuff. His he has hair like Tondro. If there's no lower ranks, you destroyed all of them. Not all of them, but... Oh yeah, he was the one, right? I wonder if he was still in the uppers. He's working on something. You see on the ceiling in there, like opposite of him. <sighs> And he got, he let people live on the train, so. Akaza is. Oh, he's pissed. There's some things that talks. We need to go back, though. Something about Blue Lily. Blue Lily, lady.
Holy shit. Did he just kill number five? Oh, so he's not dead. Is number five still alive? Cause, uh... He absolutely has the same hair color as Tanjiro. And you can't be the father. Father's dead. Father died before Muzan or whatever attacked. So it has to be someone higher up in the lineage. But we won't know until we see the face, right? Because all it could just be a coincidence that he has the red hair. If he has the same red scar, the red flame scar, then it is definitely someone from Tanjiro's family. Family line, I should say. He does have the flame mark. Oh shit. Do we have a fire breather on the side of the demons? This is Akaza's song. My migraine. Oh.
<laughs> What's up with her? I didn't talk a lot there. I there's a lot of talking. Uh, I was trying to figure out stuff. Is this the first memories of the past? So he has to be like Tandro's grandfather or further past. Tandro's great grandfather, something like that. Or maybe it's not blood related at all. I don't know. I'm very curious about it, but. Wait. So that is Tandro's father holding one of the, one of them. Or it's probably Tandro's father holding Tandro. So not Tandro's grandfather, someone else, a different master of the fire. Right? It's just that if someone learns the fire training, then if you're worthy of the fire training, you can you gain the scar of it or something along the lines. So not related, but... Oh, we're over at Tantro. Tantro's in bed. You're talking. Two months. Holy shit. That's insane. <coughs> Episode one, someone's dream. Goto. Yeah, he seems like he always ends up <laughs> I didn't know okay. It's fine. Oh, 
oh, so he's planning to wake Tanjiro up with the smell, but Tanjiro's already awake. Wow, he's cleaning it up. <laughs> yeah, they're probably they'll be a sight for Tantro being awake. Uh, the three. No, it's someone with a sheet on them. Ah, it's Aoi. Yeah, they did take over her place. Okay, so Zenitsu is on a mission. Uh, so... Tenjin was fine. Yeah, he had injuries, but most of the was from poison, which was no longer in his body. I bet. Even reorganize, reorganizing your organs just to take a blow had to have done serious damage to him. Stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, he is there. <laughs> Wow. So they all been passed out for a long time. A honey badger. Oh, so Inosuke is like a honey badger. You're not immortal. We know that from that 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 fight. Oh, medicine doesn't have an effect on him either? That's so weird. <laughs> a nose gay. 
Uh, Zenitsu has to be so happy about that. What is that? Oh, it's the... It's to collect... The blood, right? No, because they collected the blood. What was that? Okay, so it took another week for Tanjiro to get back on his feet. Okay. Fuck is Zenitsu. Zenitsu is still a problem. <laughs> he has to get new swords, right? Because his swords chipped in the battle. And that's probably why we're going to the swordsmith village. What, three new swords within a year? Something like that? More than two years? Uh oh. I have no swords for you, is that what it said? Oh. Okay. That makes a lot more sense why they would go to the village. <coughs> I cannot tell you my name. I look forward to serving you. Okay. Oh, so he doesn't know where the village is because the village has to stay hidden. Which someone brought up some a fact that I didn't never notice is the reason for the reason for the the swordsmiths wearing masks are to keep their identity secret because if they ever are found out, they're dead. Twelve. Twelve pass-offs. So his mansion is even more hidden, which is insane. Whoa, I thought it'd be a bigger village. It's a very small village. There's only like what, six buildings? 
seven villains. How long does it take the swordsmith to reach the demon slayer? It's she's in a hot spring. Jesus. She she's love. Love Slayer, whatever. About hard to row. <laughs> I like this old man. about that what oh Okay. It's cool to know that the swordsmiths see it as him not making a better sword and not putting on the demon slayer, which is very neat. We got a little bit of this from there, trailers. I did see the trailers, I just don't do reactions of them because. Maybe I'll actually do talks about them later. Oh my god, the migraine. Wow, this village is very kind. Who? <laughs> I love her. She's very like she's very like uh Her emotions are like all over the place but really cool. 
she's so openly and so giddy, which is so cool to see as a person. Oh. <laughs> you could bond our nakedness on oh, Netsuko is in the bath too. Makes sense. Damn, she ate a lot. Missus. I don't know what that name is. Is it someone we met? That's a problem with the me not knowing. I've been watching dub this entire time. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, Nezuko and uh, Mitsuru. Ah. <laughs> That's fine. She wants to find love, which is perfectly fine for her. Oh, please tell me when they make Tantro's new sword, he's able to put the fire. Uh, the fire, um, oh, it's not handle the fire, like guard from um, Rengoku's blade on his. I'm really hoping she's she's in like more of this arc. <laughs> she's I love her. Her personality. Personality and emotions are really great. Secret weapon in the village. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> Wonder where it would be hidden. It'd be it'd be great if Tandro finds this hidden weapon, the secret weapon. Oh, that's, uh, M Muchiro, right? Why are the two Hashiras here? Is that the first? Is this another fire breather? Fire breather. God damn it. There's a lot to talk about. But more than likely I'm taking a break. I'll come back. Ugh. So we are going to get his backstory too. I'm guessing we're getting backstory for both the Hashiras. If they beat the number one, Muzin would be beyond pissed. But I'm guessing they'll only show a part of his power. That's number four and five right there. Which seems more like that would be the next ones to be taken out. Did he just pull out a gun? That's the end of the episode. Let me... Let me skip forward. Okay, so there is extra and extra thing at the end. There are two Hashras. So it's seeming like this arc won't have Inosuke or Zenitsu.
<laughs> he was trying to wake up Tondro. Being sick is all in the mind. That's a Gavin Free statement. Yoshi's zero type. Okay. Give me a second. Before I forget about stuff, we need to go back. There's two... Muzin is looking for two things. Wait, they're sending number four and five somewhere. Are they heading over to the Swordsmith Village? That's why they're in the intro. That means two Hashiras and Tandro is going to be in the midst of fighting two more uppers. If they're able to kill upper four and five, I can't imagine Muzin's. I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to figure out what his goal is. For the first time in 113 years, an upper rank has been killed. Wipe that smirk off your face. I wonder if they know where that legendary sword is and they're trying to find it before someone else finds it. All because of your status of upper ranks. There's a lot. I'm, I'm going to have to rewatch this two or three times. The only problem I will say right now is I'm getting a massive migraine. I absolutely can't watch this a second or third time right now. What about the blue spider, spider lily? No idea what the blue spider lily is. You still haven't annihilated the Ubu Ub Yashika family. And then I need um, the name that they said. Shina Zugawa Brothers. Genya. Genya. I don't think I had Genya. Okay. Before we really jump into reviewing, I know I'm giving this. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm giving this a uh, 9.5 out of 10. It's a really good episode. I'm sorry. I'm gonna really have to take a break. My migraine is really. Oh, it's really bad. It's really fucking bad right now. And my, my fucking medicine that usually helps with migraine hasn't been doing shit for the last week. Fuck. I 
Oh, they mean... Okay, so... The Scar. The Scar Hashra. He's the brother of Genya. So those two are brothers. There's two Scar. Okay. Okay, cool. I just looked up the last name. Or first name. I don't know. How it works. I think it's the last name. I have no clue. It's... Oh, Legendary Sword. Sword. Sword of Strength. Sword of Strength. That's what they're looking for. Also, the village saying that it's the sword creator's fault for making swords that break so easily. And giving them a limited amount of time. I'm very curious now. If that his sword maker uh, is either dead or if he will show up in time. I get that it is the creator of the sword that has to be the most pissed because it's his like great, greatest creations. But when making like if someone was a swordsmith and you make a katana and maybe it's your fifth fiftieth, you're still gonna improve the more katanas you make. So even if he did ship the sword like he did or, bro- or the swords got broken or lost He's at least making more and more swords so they'll get stronger and stronger over time. But I can definitely see it from the swordsmith's take that he's probably getting more and more pissed. Oh, now I can't breathe through my right nostril. Okay, I'm taking a break for right now. I will come back. We've watched the full episode. I'll come back and review this. There's a lot to talk about. I'll probably try and pull up moments on my Xbox because I absolutely cannot watch this on the computer right now. My ba- my migraine is way too, like, way too intense to even try. So I will be right back. Um, but uh, it'll probably be an hour or two from now when I do the rest of this. So I'll be back in a little bit. Ugh. So it's been about seven hours something like that i have work tonight am i feeling great for it no i'm feeling horrible still yeah i probably will be until I find out what it is like i said nasal infection is what we think it is um so we're gonna talk about demon slayer episode more in light i watched tiny bits replay it oh i hate oh man, pill bottles <laughs> the bane of my existence. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> ah. I hate, I hate, I hate. Oh, let me turn off the air conditioner. That could turn on. At randomly and that would make a lot of noise on the mic so uh let me just throw on my mic and i'm uh i have the video opened but i don't have it two exact moments we're gonna talk about the whole episode i think my favorite part like i said i really like uh mitsuru mitsuri the love uh love hashra mitsuru I really like her. Her personality is really... I love her. Like, it's more... Not giddy, but... Um, her, I'm hoping we get more of her. I want to see her backstory. I also want to see... Hopefully we'll get uh, Machuro's backstory too. But that's... It's seeming like we'll get it. Because they have the intro there. Which... If anything, I'm going to quickly pop open the intro. The Demon Slayer Season 3 intro. This will probably be the only video coming out tonight. I'll I'll put up the... 
um, I will put out, I'll put up, uh, the Sakamoto's Days thing tomorrow. The village is not big, and that's the biggest surprise to me. I thought the village would be a lot bigger, but it makes sense trying to hide the village. And it's being, it is being so well hidden. It also seems like in the trailer, maybe I'm wrong about thinking about it this way, but it seems like, it seems like Swords are being made by multiple people here. And if it's only been one person making each sword, is that them training to make swords or something else? It also would make sense if this is where they're sending number four and number five of the upper demons. Because it's the sword making village. If they're able to take out all the sword makers, then it would be such a big thing for Muzin. Also, um, Mitsuru's sword is really weird. It like curves and bends. But I don't know if that's her ability or what within the trailer. Um, okay, I'm done with the intro. I do like how kind they are. Uh, like, every single person we've met in the village so far are so kind. Like I said in the in my reaction, I really love how they don't see it as the swordsman's uh, fault for breaking a sword. They see it as their own fault as sword makers. I do wonder if the higher, the upper demons, I might have to write down their names. Um, I'm using it on the back of a page, but the front of that page is used for uh, puzzles from a different game. Uh, but I'm going to have to write down the upper ranks, one through five names. I really do wonder if upper number one is here. Or if that's someone else. If that's someone else that was a... Fire breather. <sighs> Wait, he, the kid, the kid talking to. Also, it seems like in the intro sequence, the the kid yelling at M Muchiro, the Hashra. Is with Tandro a lot? And it's possible that this is the number one upper demon. It's just that he has his face hidden. Remember how easy it was for Daki to hide herself within the entertainment district? And she was number six. When we start getting close to Muzan, it has to be ridicu ridiculous to find an upper class. Because it's been 113 years since one has been killed. Um, so it's absolutely to the point that they could be hidden. Really just in plain sight and no one know. Number two, the upper ranked demon number two seems more blatantly out in the open because you can see his eyes with his number in it. But I think that's only for when he's 
in the back rooms. Has Tandra at this point been can has he become a Hashra? Because I know Tenjin was gonna appoint him as the replacement for him. I do like uh, knowing the reason why uh, Mitsuru joined is to find a husband, which I'm fine with. It's Everyone will have their own reason for joining the Hashras. Also, uh, Genya using a gun in the intro sequence is really strange to me. I do like how they hide the Swordsmith Village is you have, what, 12 here, right? I did the count in 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, 12 different escorts that escorts you by a piggy bank back ride to the, to the Swordsmith Village, but passing you off, which makes it really well hidden. But then to get the note that the mansion... The butterfly mansion that the Lee of the Hashra is at is even more well hidden than this is insane. But it makes absolute sense. You want to keep this as hidden from Muzan and the demons as much as possible. Also, if you didn't know, I think I mentioned this in earlier sections um is I think for the dub actor of the the cleanup crew that's been helping out with Tanjiro and that um I'm more than certain that's Udiu um the voice actor of Udiu from Bleach um I'm also gonna say something here I'll say it again at the very end. I don't think I'm going to be picking up with sub. I'm going to wait till dub comes out and watch episode by episode dubbed. I know it could end up with me getting spoiled for something, but this is a 50 minute episode and I'm going to have to watch it like four times to pick up every single thing they said because it's subbed. I'm not a very fast re reader. Um, I loved it all. I, I got most of it, but... I'm guess I'm more than certain I'm missing stuff here, but it's gonna take multiple watchthroughs, um, or we might get lucky and they might be a week behind for dubbed. So like uh, this episode, Demon Let me see if I can find it. Not chapters. Any uh, episodes. Anime episodes. So. They don't say right here. So like, I will be able to tell because today is the second. The second episode should come out today. If the dub doesn't come out today, then I know we might have to stick with sub. That's the one thing is. So like, episode two is already out. I didn't even see that because I don't have an updated page yet. Um, I'm gonna quickly see if the dubbed has. Uh, really, really, uh, release yet on here? I don't see one, so I'm guessing Dub is gonna be like six months behind. Like it seems like they've been for this, so I might have to keep with subbed, 
Which, if so, I'm gonna wait a day or two because I want to get better and I want to figure out what is wrong. Like I said, I think it's a science affection. That's what the family thinks. Um, okay. Um, there's one more thing I want to look at here. Uh, Shinobu saying that Inosuke is like a honey badger. He's not effective as poison. Poison doesn't have much effect on you, but neither does medicine, which is in a tree. Like that means that him being in, in being very injured is up to his own body, which I thought I picked up, but I wanted to make sure. Which is very very cool to know that poison doesn't have much effect on him he did at the right end because he was on his dying breath but uh would Nezuko be able to burn the demon's blood away or demon's arts away is incredible um oh the whole um, meeting with the higher ups, I'm gonna have to rewatch a few times. Like I said, I need to pick up the names. I'll do that off screen. Um, I have work in about three, four hours, so I'm hoping to get this rendered and up. It'll probably come out late, but I'm sorry for that. The whole interactions between Mitsuru and Nezuko were very sweet. I loved it. Her being head over heels constantly is neat. But I wonder who taught her to love Slayer. It's just... I'm I'm hoping we get a lot more with um, Mitsuru. The bath scene is whatever the... Where she's in the hot springs is whatever. I don't really care. Um, I think watching certain shows like Fire Force and that... Fan service doesn't bother me anymore. I It used to at a point. But it's just fan service. Or it's just them... I know that it is fan service. But I don't care. They can do it all they want. I really don't care. I'm fine with fan service as long as it's either it's contained to one character like Fire Force, I can get it because it's just one character that has the most fan service, uh, or it's outside of battle. I'm perfectly fine with it. It also seems like Mitsuru is going to be staying here. Mitsuru, because in the intro, it has Mitsuru. Uh, uh, Muchiru, uh, Kondro, and Nezuko all fighting. 
And I'm guessing she's going to end up staying here because the action of the higher-ups. Watch. The experience they're going to get from it is going to be priceless no matter what. If number four and five are out to fight, holy crap, is it going to be incredible to see. Also, if something gets attacked like this, as long as Muzin doesn't know, they're still going to probably still move the whole village somewhere else, further in. Or if the mansion ever gets attacked. I'm also the very, I'm very curious, and I'll probably take a while before we get is I really want to know with the headmaster of the Hashra I like it. Sorry um I really want to know the connection between Muzin and the Muzin and the higher rank, the leader of the Hashra. I really want to know the connection, the family line, and eventually we'll probably get it. I'm very curious about this legendary sword that she speaks of, that it will increase her strength. I like him saying that we're go we're going to be going after Muzin could be Muzin. Yeah, him saying that he will defeat Muzin makes both Mitsuru and the one of the cleanup crews behind her uh, flustered. <laughs> My biggest thing is I want to know about the sec the secret weapon. There's a name they, they put next to the little guy, uh, Hiro Toko. I'm very curious if that's his actual name. I'm not going to write it down for right now. I will write down the, the five, the five upper demons. I think out of the five upper demons, I think I like number two the most. He, he's like more like, he's... He's different from the other five, the other four. Um, I like him. What, number f five, right? Number four, whatever. The one that is, like, always, like, trying to hide from everyone. Also, is the out th those two are outliers. I don't know. They're all weird. Akaza just wants to fight everyone. The second one is more, like, pushy, but he's weird in his own right. Uh, number five, if that's the one in the pot, he's more of a masochist, it seems. Um, number four, if that's the right one, he's more, like, uh, trying to stay away from the group. He's more, um, he's more scared than any of them. And then number one just seems more, like, tries to stick to himself, but is not willing to see... Uh, the other uppers like fight against each other, which is neat. It's also neat to know that Muzin is yelling at the uppers for not getting stuff done that even he couldn't do. If Muzin, if even if Muzin doesn't know and they still haven't found out either, it's so well hidden. I get why Muzin would be mad, but still, it's funny to me. Um, I'm very curious how num the number one lines up, how far up the ladder of former uh, fire users it is. I do like knowing that anybody who picked up the fire, um, fire scale, and are able to master it still meet the same fate. So, 
it's not just a family line. It's more of a teaching like any of the other uh, slayers, demon slayers, techniques and abilities. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to end it here. I've been talking for like 20 minutes, something like that. I really want to try to get this up today. This is going to be like an hour and 30 minutes long. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm get, I'm still giving this 9.5 out of 10. If you guys like the video, like if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing to the channel to keep up with all the content. Otherwise, this has been Mrs. Crazy again sign off. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully, I see you guys next video. And, uh... Peace.